Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And right away, they're going to stack him up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And he takes this for three to the 29. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. From the gun, Winston. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Returnable for Thomas. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the Ravens, they'll take over. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And the former Heisman winner, this is Mark Ingram. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Ready? The mic. 45 to the mic. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. All right, here we go. Throwing on second and eight, Jackson. It's complete to Snead. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield, but it was well covered, and he was able to get a hand in and knock it away. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, 
that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw, Winston. There's the Penn State man, it's Chris Godwin. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. Uh, they lulled them to sleep there, so to speak. That was all set up by the running game, wasn't it? Another example of what all offensive coordinators tell us. When the running game's operating, it really opens up the playbook. And that's when they hit them with the play action. And you can see the defenders rushing towards the line of scrimmage, then scrambling back trying to cover. Couldn't get there in time. Well scripted. They had the big running play. Shane. Now the big passing play. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Jameis to throw it. This goes to Barber, the running back. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A little over 20 yards there, and in two plays, they've now moved the ball over 60 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Barber. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert? and fire out and create some space in the run game. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A three-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And that one gives the Bucks a 7 to nothing lead. the touchdown. Here's Gay to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> 
Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Throwing is Jackson, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Following the interception, Winston. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. A five-yard touchdown catch as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Jackson. Dancing to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Now Jackson. Flushed out right. But he's got Snead. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. For an offense that has not found the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Ingram. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, it's Jackson. This will be caught by Brown. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Third and two. Here's Jackson. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Shaquille Barrett in there to get him for a loss of three. And it will be fourth down. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. A 
reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson under pressure again, and down he goes again. Carl Nassib and the Buccaneers defense holds, and they get the football back. Let's get this. Let's get this. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how, do, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Ready? Blue ready. 50 seconds to mine. Let's go, man. Let's go. On second down, it's Jones. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Good strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4... You've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage, and that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Ready? Blue in. Green, triple team. Watch the slack. Watch the slack. Watch the slack. On third and one, here's Winston. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. That's good for 28 yards. So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to Talk to your other coverage guys and let him know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. He finds his target. It's Evans. First down Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. When Mike Evans sees man coverage, I don't think he's the only guy who gets excited. I'll guarantee the guy throwing the ball does because guess what? He's got a lot of options about where to place it because of Mike Evans' size and frame. Winston of the Ready. offense with a first and 10. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 